Hey guys, what's up? Michael here. Um, I think I made a mistake with the last video about Ty Lopez's social media agency uh, thing that I made a few weeks ago because I get hundreds and thousands, actually it's an exaggeration, but I get dozens of emails and comments and Instagram direct messages and Facebook messages on my fan page and stuff about how to actually do all things because people really liked it and it went kind of viral. It got ranked like... Uh, on the first page for Ty Lopez and stuff. So um, yeah, people really want to know how to actually do this whole thing 100% online based and just on the internet, how to get traffic, how to get a site, how to... They ask me questions about everything. So basically this video is an update uh, to the other video and it's focusing just on that. I will tell you exactly how you can do all of this shit Ty Lopez is teaching you in one single video right here. I don't know how long it will take. It will probably be a kind of long video. I prepared a few slides and stuff, but it's pretty easy to understand. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's get this started right here. So how to run a social media agency 100% online. Um, yeah, so first of all, I will actually start with a few things that you need that are 100% necessary in order to do this stuff because there are quite a few things that you have to make sure that you have before you actually really get into all of this stuff, right? It's not that easy. So first things first right here, um, these are the things you really, really need. There might be a few more things, but these are the main things you need, right? If you want to start a social media agency. And the first thing I want to tell you is skills and being able to deliver their services is just something that you have to be able to do, right? That's like the, the lowest, lowest necessary thing that you have to have, right? What's really important though is because when it comes to all of this stuff, people tend to, to buy people, not services. What I mean with that is you have to establish yourself as an authority in the social media world, right? Otherwise, they won't take you seriously, especially uh, these higher people, like, like people who already got a lot of money. They won't take you seriously. If you're like 20 years old and you have nothing going on and you have 500 Instagram followers, uh, it's, it, I mean, it, there's nothing going to happen, right? So what you need, okay. As I said in the previous video, actually, um, just an agency website, and I can show you, I, I will do this real practical right now. Just an agency website, like for example, mine right here, uh, extremesocial.co is not enough. Um, having a fancy site like this looks nice and everything, increased conversions, nice graphic and stuff, it doesn't do anything. Nothing. I don't. I make zero dollars through this website right here. This is just the front end. This is just what you show people when you're at a conference or something. What really makes money though is or are landing pages. You want highly converting landing pages. So what is a landing page, right? Most of you guys will probably know, but it's simply like a squeeze page, just like a page where all the person that's getting on this page can do is. They can either enter, they can either enter their email, or they they just leave, right? So you basically force them to do something on the side. So for example, right here, this page, this is not social media marketing related. It is, but it's something different. Um, it's how to make money on Instagram. It's an ebook and stuff. So when people go to this page right here, they have one option basically. They most likely click on this button. Some actually enter their email directly right here but you basically give them something for free in social media marketing and stuff. You can do this by offering them an ebook about your, your services or social media in general, how it can help them, how you made money. Case studies were good with social media marketing agencies and stuff, how you helped another company uh, get an ROI and make them money and stuff. Um, so you get this for free. Uh, you give them this thing for free right here and they enter their email, right? They're basically forced to give you uh, their email. 
So that's what you do, but you don't have to go with case studies and stuff. You can also do it with something more interesting, like uh, like how to money, make money and stuff, but it has to be related to Instagram, how to increase your revenue through social media or something like this. It, it, sorry, not Instagram, but social media in general, okay? Um, so you need a landing page, that's a must because that's how you generate leads, right? And um, when I say leads in this case, if you do it for a social media marketing agency, you might want their phone number too, and of course their social media profiles and stuff. Um, what I what comes to my mind, what also works good with this stuff is like free SEO, uh, free social media analyzers and stuff, where you audit their accounts and stuff. Okay. Um, and by the way, all of these things that I'm mentioning right here. I most likely have a separate video on this channel right here that goes into extreme detail on how to do these things. Like for example, with the next thing, social media uh, things you need, social media, YouTube profiles or accounts with a lot of followers and engagement, obviously, right? Um, yet, as I already said, you need a lot of followers and a lot of social proof, that's how we call it, if you wanna land social media clients because we know on social media, in the end, it really comes down to how many goddamn fans, subscribers, followers, uh, engagement, likes, comments, you get them because that's what in the end brings the money. Not There's no account on Instagram that has 500 followers and makes a million a year. It's, it's just not gonna happen, right? So yeah, I actually have tons of videos on this topic, how to actually get your social media profiles up and, and boost them and actually got, uh, and actually drive traffic using social media profiles and stuff like this. I will actually put all of these videos um, that uh, have something to do with this kind of stuff right here in the description. So after this video, please watch this video first before you go into detail with the next ones because I really want you to understand the whole concept because it's really gold. It's you can actually do this stuff and make a lot of money, okay? So, um, become an authority, as I already said. Then what's really important, if you wanna do this stuff online, and that's the most important thing right here, it's targeted traffic. And I really want you to, to remember this. You need highly targeted traffic and you need massive amounts of traffic. If you try to get out of this thing where you have to like manually approach people every single day, cold call them and do this and that. You need targeted traffic all the time to your website every single day, right? That's what you need and I know how to do this and I will teach you how to do this, okay? Um, then of course you need time. I mean, it's obvious and as I said, skills. I mean, skills are not the most important thing but it's just like, it's, it's, it's necessary to have them. Right. If you if you go into this game with with skills with without skills, you will you will basically lose against all of these guys who already have skills, like me, for example. Okay. Okay. So the next thing, I prepared a little graphic to show you really because graphics already always work the best when you explain like a concept or something. So I really want to just show you this. I made it real simple. Okay. So, um, yeah, there you see. So the first four. Uh, objects you see at the at the top are YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So these are obviously our traffic sources, right? And the funny thing is, each of these traffic sources, there are probably, I mean, for each of them, there's probably a dozen a dozen ways to actually drive traffic using them. For example, when you look at YouTube. Uh, you have the whole thing with AdWords, you can do paid advertisement, then you have the whole thing with YouTube ranking, YouTube SEO, the thing I teach in my Tube Millionaire course, how to rank a YouTube video for all kinds of keywords in the top position, I teach all of that stuff. Then you have Instagram where you can do, where you follow targeted people in your niche, when you have shout outs, influencer marketing, same with Facebook, you also have influencer marketing, but then the whole Facebook ads thing comes into play, Facebook remarketing, Facebook targeting, Facebook audience, audience insights, all of this kind of stuff, right? By the way, I have videos for all of this stuff, but please check this video because it, please stay at this video right here because it's really important, okay? Then we have Twitter, there's also massive amounts of ways to drive traffic using Twitter. A lot of people don't know about all of this stuff, but it really is, and it comes down to engaging with people in your niche. 
Okay, I will show you that in a second, but first we go through all of these um, things right here, okay? You can see that all of the arrows right here actually point into the direction of the landing page, right? So when we created the landing page, we wanna drive all the traffic that we generate from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, and there are more ways actually, but these are the four that work the best at the moment. Um, so in YouTube, we do that by putting a link in the description, Instagram, link in bio, Facebook, we, we, we post and we put the link there and Twitter, put the link on the bio and also tweet and stuff, it's obvious, right? So that's how we drive the traffic to the landing page and on the landing page, as I already said, we get our prospects info, right? We get the name, the phone, the social accounts, and all of the stuff we need to analyze their stuff and um, then call them and stuff like this. Okay, so after that, and that's how you do real marketing, on real online marketing right here, you have them on the landing page, they give you their email and their info, and then you redirect them to a sales page or in this case your agency kind of page with the pricing tables okay but realistically of course it's not like all of the people you send there are gonna buy just a very small percentage and and they do buy sometimes but a very small percentage of them immediately buys okay so right here we have the page uh, with pricing tables, as I call it right here, that's basically your, your SMM packages, like starter package, pro package, uh, prices depend on how you price them, of course, and that's where you make the money down here. Okay, so um, the next thing is, and now it gets really interesting is, as I said, most people who come on, who, who land on your landing page and give you their details, they will not simply go ahead and buy, right? So you have to do what we call the follow up, right? You have to actually, and I pointed out like three methods right here that you can use to do that. Um, you email them, you call them, which is probably the most, uh, for you guys, most likely the uh, method that will have the best results, even especially if you start out, um, or you will do any kinds of remarketing. This can be, I wrote here, Facebook retargeting or remarketing. I got a video on that, by the way. Um, it's very easy to set up and it's basically, and works good with services. Actually, I just tried it out with a YouTube service a few days ago. Um, you basically retarget um, all of the people who landed on your page on Facebook. So you basically follow up on them with using Facebook advertisement, right? Um, and that's how you make the money in the long run, right? With this kind of stuff. That's how you really make the money. You're not just gonna make the money by sending a lot of traffic to one side and then, especially with high ticket items, no one is going to on the internet is actually coming from some social media account and immediately buy something for thousands of dollars. It's just not gonna happen, okay? And right now, because it's so interesting, I wanna give you an example with money, meaning how much money you could potentially make with a certain amount of traffic. Let's just pretend, let's just take one month, okay? Sorry, um, let's just take one month, okay? Let's just pretend we have, uh, or we are getting, we made a bunch of YouTube videos, we positioned ourselves as an expert in our niche, we managed to rank our YouTube videos and we get traffic from YouTube, right? That, that brings us 250 highly targeted uh, people to our landing page per month. Okay, next thing, Instagram, easy. We engage with people, we comment, we post, we do this. 250 people a month, click our link in the bio. It's another uh, 250 people per month, okay? Facebook, same thing, we post. It might be a little bit lower, but I just take took this example right here to show you. Another 250 and Twitter the same. Okay, so all in all, we get 1,000 people on our landing page this month. Okay, so these are all people we could potentially gather leads from, right? But we can't because there's always a specific conversion rate. So let's say, for example, this month, the conversion rate for this landing page is 30%, which means that with a thousand visitors, we get 300 leads, right? So we get 300 um, people where we got the information from, meaning uh, phone, social accounts, name, all of this stuff, right? Let's just pretend, and this is possible right here. I mean, this seems very low for, for newbies probably, a 1% conversion rate, but with high ticket items, I can guarantee you it's not gonna be two, it's one or 2%, okay? But even, I mean, if you have 300 leads and you have a 1% conversion rate, 
uh, you get three clients uh, just automatically, just by driving traffic to your landing page and then they come to your pricing table side and then they will buy, right? But the, the real money you're going to make with following up, meaning getting paying for ads on Facebook and stuff, emailing them and calling them and even following up on social media via Facebook, uh, via email or Facebook, sorry, not email, I mean, via Facebook message or Instagram direct message. This is, by the way, this is an insider tip. Instagram direct messages are pretty hot at the moment. There's a lot of business done through through these uh, uh, direct messages, okay? Um, so yeah, let's just say you have a closing rate of 25% and on the phone, that's really possible. If you call 100 people, you can sell 25 of them, right? And it might not even, you might not even sell them immediately, but if you call them two times, three times, you might, you most likely will sell them, okay? That would be um, just uh, taking down these three clients that we already have. So 297, 25% uh, is uh, 74 clients. All in all, we had 77 clients this month. Let's just say we had an average sales price for a package of $767. That would mean you just made $51,359, right? But I can tell you, looking at this shit right here and doing it in real life, there's worlds between this. There's worlds between these two things, right? There, you can't even you can't even imagine what what this doing this actually will mean for you uh, psychologically if you're if you're just starting out, you know? Because all of this it looks so easy right here, but all of this stuff takes so much experience and so much work that I mean, do it, try it, and then go back to this video right here and let me know how it worked, okay? So right now, I promise you, let's just get into something more practical out of the theory right here. Let's just really get into it and show you guys how to actually drive traffic using some of these methods right here because all of you guys, pro you can research how to create a landing page. By the way, I even made a video about that like a few days ago, okay? But you can just go to uh, youtube.com and type in how to create landing page. Uh, and by the way, I, will, I actually recommend Instapage instapage.com and be sure to go back to my video. I will show you that Instapage or you can also use ClickFunnels, not, not ClickFunnels for this, but leadpages.net or something. It doesn't matter. Even if you create a free site, I don't care. Just create a landing page and don't come to me in the in the goddamn Instagram uh, direct messages and ask me about this. Like how, what kind of software should I use? To, should I pay 20 bucks and risk risk it uh, and to invest in a landing page software or something like this. I just don't want to hear it. You do it. So you either do it or you don't do it. It's, it's that simple, right? So anyone can create a landing page and let's get into it right now, how to actually drive some real traffic using these platforms right here. And what's also really great with this method or this strategy is that you don't have to initially go to your prospects or your, your potential clients uh, and meet them and stuff, they come to you. 99% of my clients I've never met or seen be ever before they actually bought something uh, from my company, right? So that's pretty awesome because everything is done for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all these kind of networks, all this kind of stuff, right? So let's just ch jump straight into it on how to actually do this stuff. So let's just start out with YouTube. And I want to show you something real quick before I get into it. And that's that's what you that's how you have to think. And a lot of people misunderstand this because they just go out there on YouTube and stuff and they call themselves like a social media expert or something. And about, I don't know, a Twitter expert, an Instagram expert, a Facebook expert, and they go out there and create a video, talk some shit, and upload it, and, and then they don't get views, they don't get likes, they don't get nothing, and, and then they stop, right? Uh, most people are like that, or they take it down, they think it doesn't work, and I wanna show you something. If I type in, if I'm on YouTube right now, okay, and I type in, I'm, let's just pretend I'm a, I'm a, uh, real estate guy, okay? And I have a new Twitter account or an Instagram account, right? So let's just pretend I have a new Twitter account and I've never done this, I'm 50 years old. I've never ever looked into Twitter, don't even know what it is. And of course, I see that everyone is about talking about followers and how many followers you got. And of course, I just created my profile and I have zero followers, of course. So what do I type in on YouTube, right? I type in how to get Twitter followers. 
So what pops up right here, Michael Kohler's video on how to get more followers on Twitter, 2015, I mean, the video's pretty old right now, but that's just one of my videos. But what if I wanted to know, okay, right now the question is, right? Right now the question is that you got in your mind is probably how does he do that? How does he rank that video on like the first page with all of these other videos that has like, have like hundreds and thousands of views, right? So now you ask yourself how to rank YouTube videos and then there's me again who will actually teach you the solution right here on the first page, right? Because I'm ranked everywhere for every video that I put up right here. I'm ranked almost for every, every, every video right here because the newer ones, like let's just take the new how to make 10,000 a month. Let's just take this how to make 10,000 uh, a month. I'm not sure that's the newest video if I'm already ranked for this. Probably not. Oh yeah, I'm already ranked. So for most of them are already ranked. It, it depends on the competition. Of course, sometimes it takes, takes longer to rank, but um, yeah, that's basically, and, and now you got the concept. Um, you want people to find you. You want people to find you. Do you, you, you even know how hard it is on the internet to make money if people don't find you? It's almost impossible because there's already so many. No one gives a shit about the guy who is on the on the sixth page right here. Okay, who is on the sixth page? Okay, that's that's dream chase with 200, 262 views. Congratulations, dude. Oh, he makes 10,000 a month, but he only has 2,000 views. No one will see him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's one thing you actually have to make sure that. So yeah, that's one thing you actually have to be. Uh, you actually have to do in order to really get clients. You have to position yourself. That's what we call SEO, right? Search engine optimization. You actually have to be able to optimize your content so it will be seen. So there are two ways to do that. So you, either, you either have money and pay Google AdWords to show your video or your site on Google, uh, or you actually rank that stuff. Uh, you can use my course Two Millionaire if you want, but if you don't, just leave it. And But again, as I told you guys, it's not easy. You see, the first thing I already explained to you with the YouTube ranking and stuff, that's already something that takes like, that's just one thing of the equation right here like maybe one third, like one fourth or one eighth out of the whole equation right here, but it actually already requires so much skill and knowledge. You see, and that's why it's hard to make money online. Right now I'm showing you guys why it's hard to make money online. It's not fluff or anything like this. It's real practical stuff and you have to learn all of these things, right? So, okay, that's YouTube right here. And I guarantee you, if you have 10 videos ranked for a highly competitive keyword, you get 250 people a day, a month on your site easily and they wanna buy something from you, okay? Um, next thing is Instagram. Um, I mean, Instagram is real simple actually. Let's just jump to Twitter. I prepared something um, on Twitter right here. And actually, Twitter is actually good for business still. Um, even though it's like not so much, so not so popular anymore with people in general, but it's still great for business, just like, just as LinkedIn right here. Um, by the way, if you're not on LinkedIn, you're missing out. So I'm telling you this right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is like, let's say you're searching for real estate, right? You wanna have real estate clients online uh, for your social media agency, right? So all you do is you type in real estate right here in the YouTube search bar, you go to people, and let's just pretend <clears throat> you're locked in right here with your personal account. I would highly suggest to not make a comp make a company account for your um, social media agency. But if you do stuff like I will show you right now, um, always use your personal account because people just don't like with interacting with companies. They love, like to interact with personal uh, with people. So you simply put all of this stuff, all of the info, like your links and CEO of whatever company in your description right here, in your bio, okay, on Twitter. And as you can see, I have 600,000 followers right here. So what do you think, what happens when, when I go, go out and there's all these real estate guys, let's just t not take these very uh, high ranked ones, but I follow, follow, blah, these are all real estate guys who probably need social media marketing done, okay? That's just the way it is. And as you can already see right here, that's also a difference between Thai stuff and my stuff right here. We don't really go for, we don't really care that much about local 
targeting some local areas. I mean, we could do real estate New York, real estate this, real estate that. But when you do this stuff right here, it's more like an international kind of thing, right? I mean, you should focus, I mean, probably focus on English speaking countries, USA, United Kingdom, Australia and stuff. But um, yeah, it's basically, you can do whatever you want right here. Okay, so back to the point right here. What happens if some of these guys notices me following them, then follows back or doesn't even follow back, but actually checks out my profile, which around 30 to 40% will do that. If I follow 100 people, 40 of them will actually go here, check out my stuff. If I do that every day, 40 uh, times 30 is 1,200, if I'm not mistaken, I get 100,000, uh, sorry, 1,200 people on my site every single month, right? With just one account, but you can also use multiple accounts if you want. So that's how you basically drive traffic. Of course, it goes deeper into, there's deeper stuff to it, but that's just it for now when it comes to Twitter right here, okay. Facebook, again, I will probably not go into this um, right now. I got a bunch of videos on how to make money on Facebook, which also means basically translated how to drive traffic through Facebook. Um, how to use Facebook ads, especially retargeting ads because that's that works great uh, on Facebook right now and will work great uh, in the future also, I guess. Um, on Instagram, I made a very interesting video a few months ago. I will actually put that in the description right here. But in order to show you real quick, as you can see on Instagram, the same thing. And as I mentioned already, on Instagram right now, shit is really going down in the uh, DMs. Uh, because when you follow people, engage with people, and a lot of people will say don't follow, mass follow people and stuff. Um, but you can see right here as a perfect example, I max out my follow limit every single day, every single month, because it's just engaging. You got to engage with people, right? You got to be on Instagram, especially if you're starting out. Um, you need a lot of followers, a lot of engagements. So the only way to perfectly do this, as you can see right here, I got thousands of likes. Uh, a lot of followers, a lot of engagements and stuff. You go out and you just engage with people in your niche, right? So you go out and, and search for profiles. Let's say again with the real estate stuff, you want real estate people, right? So you go to real estate accounts in your, in your niche in a specific city, right? And you follow their followers. You follow the people who like their pictures. You engage with them every single day. You follow 500 of 200, 300, 500 people per day, 100, 200 follow back, check you out, take the link in your bio, see that you're a big dude right here and actually sign up for your stuff, give you their emails and everything. So then what you do, as I said already, that's, that gives you a bunch of leads right here. And then what, what you do is you got their phone number, you call them up and then you really sell. But again, the most important thing with this stuff is not even the whole technical shit that I'm preaching to you right now, how to follow, how to do this, how that. It's your emotions, right? Because that's what I, I see a lot when I get these messages and stuff. And it's probably one reason why I'm making this video right now is because if you're not emotionally ready to do this stuff, because what a lot of you guys don't understand is that this, this if you want it, if you're new in this game, and I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs here on YouTube already some who, who made a few thousand dollars with social media marketing agency and stuff on the side. And the reason why they are able to do this is because it's the same reason why I'm able to start a drop shipping store now, as you've seen in my previous videos, and make a sale the next two days, right? Within the next two days. That's the reason why I can do that is because we got experience. We got real experience with this stuff. So for us, it's not hard. It's not too hard to start start something really new. But if you're just starting out, it's it might be really, really hard for you. I can't imagine like four years ago when I was starting out, starting with this stuff would have been pretty hard because how do I set up emails, right? How What's the, per like, how do I call people? What's What's a cold call, right? How do I follow up? What's like, what, what, what's like a sales trick? What can I say to them? How do I, what is warm traffic? What's a conversion rate? How, do, what, how does remarketing work? What's a Facebook pixel? How do ads work? Where do I place the pixel in the HTML code, right? What's a closing rate? 
it's all stuff you you, you just got to get into that and, and if you don't if you do this stuff and you in with what in within one week you don't make money there's it's not not a reason to give up you know so that's what i'm saying it's all about the emotional uh, your emotions when you when you start this stuff, you know, and when you when you push through, you know, that's that's um, what you have to think about, and that's the real question. Um, if you make money with all of this stuff, um, it's really it's really not if you if you're able to put this technical stuff right here into action, right? It's about it's almost like some weird like what I notice with people, and I meet tons of people every year, um, successful people and not so successful people. <clears throat> what I always notice with them is that, I mean, it's not really that the successful people who make money with all of this shit and not just with social media marketing, but all the other shit, you know, too, is um, they're not, uh, it's like they're different in a way. They almost have like something on them that's almost unexplainable. You know what I mean? It's not just about working hard or or, or understanding how this stuff works. I mean, every, after a while, everyone understands how this shit works right here, right? But not everyone is doing it, right? So there's a kind of like a mix of passion mixed with inspiration and probably motivation. And, and But again, all of this stuff, and especially right now after Ty Lopez has sold 8,000 copies or something of this shit right here, all of this stuff is right now at least done 8,000 times per day, every single day of the year and way more than that right so your competition is so high right so and there's no barrier to entry right there's anyone anyone in pakistan with a credit card can do this stuff okay so you have to always keep that in the back of your mind and that's how you should act right so if you want to really be successful with this crap right here or other stuff on the internet so if you really want to be successful with this stuff right here or any other stuff on the internet or in real life, you got to eat this stuff. You got to brief this stuff. You got to, you, you just got to go to bed with this stuff. There's, there's not, if you really want to make money with this stuff, like if you want to, let's even say if you want to make $5,000 with this stuff as a newbie, it's not going to happen like just just fast. You, you, you got to work hard. It's not like starting a job. And that's what I sometimes think about people who do this stuff. They think this sh this stuff right here is like working. This is not like, like normal average working. This is like it, it requires creativity. It requires you to think. It's a lot of worrying. You worry about the stuff constantly. Does it work? Does it not work? It's almost uh, like mo many negative situations also in involved in this kind of thing, right? In this kind of business ventures right here. But it's all about passion. It's all about uh, doing it. And again, yeah, I mean, that's probably it for the video right now. Hope you liked it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and um, leave me a comment for sure. Be sure to check the description for all the links. Uh, with all the necessary information regarding all of these different methods and strategies and stuff if you want to dig deeper into it um, i'd really like it um, be sure to let me know how it went for you guys and see you in the next video